Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Do you find yourself needing to wear a mask these days, but every time you exhale, it fogs up your goggles and makes it so that you can't see anything and you walk into stuff? We have a solution for you, but it does many, many other things as well. This week on Cool Tool Tuesday, we're gonna talk about this face shield. Wait, you can't see me smiling. If I had this on, you could. Hello everybody, my name is Phil Shinbein from the Shinbein Drum Company and I'm here to tell you a little bit today about these face shields, these high impact clear face shields. Traditionally, well, let's say normally, these would be used by turners, right? Because uh, when you're standing at the lathe and you're cutting stuff off and there's always chips going in your face and in your beard and what have you. But these days with, let's say, the way the world is now, uh, you might find that you are unable to wear one of these surgical masks for wh whatever reason. Uh, something like this will actually still protect you as well. Um, not as well, but it will still protect you. Uh, if you have, say, uh, claustrophobic triggers from these or you have some kind of issue where things can't be close to your face, this is a brilliant alternative. But to bring it back to woodworking, uh, this particular unit is fantastic for any situation where literally things will be flying at your face, right? So if you're, uh, say, chopping up some uh, MDF or OSB or whatever on your table saw and your extraction isn't quite up to scratch, it'll be throwing stuff in your face. If you're working on your router table with the same stuff in the same situation, things can be, throwing at, be thrown at your face. Things can be thrown at your face. But generally, uh, these are very common when you are at your lathe doing your wood turning, right? Because then things are always in your face. And this is great for protecting you from that. It is a high impact resistant face shield. Uh, it is adjustable uh, in three different ways. Uh, the most convenient being like a hard hat, essentially. Uh, it, you turn this and it just pulls this in tighter. So you can just have it on and tighten it up to your head and no problem whatsoever. Uh, it also adjusts across the crown, I guess, the top of your head. Uh, these just do up like the back of a baseball cap and you can tighten or loosen off uh, the motion this way as well. Uh, now, in here it has this padded foamy bit which is very handy because I sweat a lot in my tin shed in the summer. If it's 40 degrees outside, it's 50 in my workshop. Uh, this catches all the, the sweat that's coming down. And if you tighten it up too much, it won't leave these big nasty red marks across your forehead if you have to go out later but don't have time to get yourself cleaned up. It's a very handy piece of kit. I can't imagine a single workshop that uh, wouldn't need it or household in general, really. I tend to wear one when I'm just doing the, uh, the edge trimming on my lawn as well because that'll throw things in your face as well. So yeah, just a fantastic thing you should add to your uh, PPE armor, armory, your PPE arsenal. What's the word I'm looking for? Arsenal? Right, so it literally just slips on your head and, you know, covers your face. It is a, f can you still hear me if I have the shield on? Okay, good, more or less. It is very useful if you need glasses, but you don't have prescription safety glasses as well. It's a nice little workaround. Uh, also, if you're needing to wear a respirator and it fits under the shield, but you don't want it to fog up your goggles, it is also very good for that as well. It is also excellent to do Darth Vader voice impersonations. Here's how the adjustments work in closer detail. Tightening up this bit is literally just a simple matter of cranking this thing around and about and oh no it's too tight on my head oh I'm gonna fall down right it's very easy to do one-handed you know it's great the top look at my bald head where's my hairline back here somewhere the top literally just does up uh, this pin through these series of holes you might want to do that with it not on you know uh, and this this one here you can just tight you find the place where it is and you just clamp it down it's a very useful system. Is he saying carpool? That's great, I love it. For more information on this face shield and pretty much everything we sell, uh, there are links down below in the doobly-doo. I still say doobly-doo, I like it. Good luck spelling it. 
Uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you like this video and this channel, I suppose. Hit that notification bell and we'll email you when we put stuff out. Uh, whoosh, YouTube thinks you'll like this video up here. We think you'll like these. Take our word for it. They're great. We've watched them a lot. I'm Phil Schimbein and I will see you when I see you.